Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the Mel Sol Golf School. I am Mel Sol, Director of Instruction and Master Professional and this month I'm going to really improve your short putts. So our title is Learn to Putt Like a Pro and you notice week in and week out the pros don't miss many of these. From 8 feet the stat is that they hold 50% of their putts from eight feet. Now remember that's from different angles, they have to read the green correctly every time if they're not standing in one place hitting. So here obviously it's going to be easier so you want to expect your percentage to be much much higher. So this drill will turn your putting into making you a putting machine. So I'm going to start off at about three feet, between three and four feet is fine those are the putts that we expect to hold, we're disappointed when we miss them, even the touring pros miss them occasionally, but we want to up our percentage of putts that are hold at this distance. So this is the way you're going to do it. I don't know if the camera can see this, but I've got the line on the ball aimed right at the hole. So the very first putt, I don't want to be doing the line on every single putt. So the very first putt, I'm going to put my putter down and aim my putter and then get into my putting stance and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to putt. Now I'm not using the line, I'm just pulling up the ball. I know if I don't move my feet I'm most probably going to just, my putt is going to be aimed correctly automatically and I can stand here and this is my goal. My goal and your goal is to see how many putts in a row you can sink. So the very first time you do this drill, you keep putting until you miss. Count how many balls you sank, whether it was five, whether it was 10, whether it was 50, doesn't matter. That is to the starting point for this drill. So let's say you sank eight and you missed on the ninth time. So you got eight in a row. So the next time you come back to do this drill, your target is nine or better. So you're improving each time. So you're going to come at the same distance. Doesn't necessarily have to be exactly the same putt, but you have about the same distance, about four feet, and you're going to putt. When the ninth putt goes in, and this is important psychologically, when the ninth putt goes in, you quit. You're now walking away with a success. You've hold more putts in a row than you normally do. The next time you come back, it's 10 in a row. You have to sink 10 in a row. If you don't, if you miss number five, you've got to start with one again. You cannot leave here until you have beaten your previous target. Now, if you want to, you can also set a time limit so that you're not there when the sun goes down. And so, you know, you can say, all right, I'm going to practice for half an hour or I've got to get my 10 in a row. Once you pass the 10, we're going to now jump. We're going to say, okay, the next target's going to be 15 in a row, then after 15, it's 20, and then 25, and then 30, and slowly you work your way up. It's going to take a while. Don't get frustrated if you can't do it one after the other. Sometimes you're going to take a little step backwards. But this is what's happening. When you're doing this, your subconscious is seeing the ball going in the hole, in the hole, in the hole, in the hole, over and over and over. When you get up to between 30 and 50 and the ball's going in the hole that many consecutive times, your belief system starts to believe that you can't miss. You have so much confidence. We spoke earlier on about preparation. This is a great preparation for building the confidence in the putting stroke. When you can get up to 50 in a row, just stay there, but then do the drill. I usually try and do this drill once a week. Don't always succeed in doing that, but I try and come out and do this drill about once a week, see how many that I can hold. If I get to 50, I'm very happy. That is the way that you're going to improve. Remember what I said two weeks ago when we were talking about the putting stroke, I want you to pay attention when you go through that you keep the putter face Nice. You notice when I finish, my putter face is still at the hole. If you watch the PGA Tour players, when they putt, after they've hit the putt, 
they hold their follow through like that. I've never seen a PGA Tour player put and move like that. I've seen thousands of amateurs do that, but I've never seen a tour player. They hit the putt and then they hold it there while the ball is rolling. So work on that stroke. When you start building that picture in your subconscious, you're putting on the golf course. It's going to go sky high.